Ready to go! Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Breakdown. In this episode, we have the biggest match of 2018 between Russia's Denis Soplenkov on the left of the screen up against Canada's Devin Lorat. And it is, of course, at the Vendetta All-Star Series as part of the PAL promotion. You can see the Ready Go approaching now. All right, here we go. And Denis Soplenkov looking strong. The hand control straight away is evident. Denis Soplenkov on the left of the screen, you can see he, his hand goes over the top of Devin Larratt, who has to slip out underneath, and they will go to the straps. Once in the straps, we're going to find out that if that hand control is enough, or can Devin Larratt get into the match? Let's see what unfolds. All right, the start happens. As you can see, the Soplenkov there in the straps, too much hand control. The side pressure is sufficient. He has separated Devin Larratt from his body, taking the match over to his side of the table. Watch again, the slow motion replay, hand control is too much. The cup is engaged. Now, even though there is no pin, once the angle is adjusted by Denis Soplenkov, he moves his elbow slightly forward, reapplies the side pressure, gets the victory. 1-0, Denis Soplenkov. All right, round two. You can see here Devin Larratt, Outside of straps now, he is jockeying, he's looking for position, and he's going early there. He is willing to take fouls. Right now, Devin Larratt is willing to take fouls. You can see the cheeky smile from Denis Soplenkov. They've gone to the straps, though. Okay, and here we go. This is where Soplenkov looked good. But once again, Devin Larratt going early, trying to get as much fatigue on Soplenkov's hand as he possibly can. Devin Larratt knows that Soplenkov has a stronger hand. He felt it in round one. He needs to do everything he possibly can. Let's see what happens. Big surge straight out of the gate there from Denis Soplenkov. No time. He's not giving Devin Larratt any time to do what he does best, which is his long game. And Denis Soplenkov has just crushed him. Look at the slow motion replay again. Straight away, the cup is established. And Denis Soplenkov drives with solid side pressure. And Devin Larratt... Unable to keep his shoulder, he's had that match torn away from him very, very quickly. Now, even though there was a slight delay there at the bottom, it was a very decisive victory. Round three, wow, look at that. That is probably the most impressive victory. Let's have a look at this one in slow motion replay. Watch the way Dennis Aplinkov uses speed and just raw side pressure at the top there to totally take Devin Larratt out of his shoulder, and then he contains him with a strong hand and cup and just rides that bicep down to the pad. Very impressive speed and power there from Denis Soplenkov. All right, round four. Outside of the straps here, Devin Larratt again going early. He needs to get that work on. Denis Soplenkov laughing it off and taking a breather, not engaging in that battle when Devin Larratt goes early. But here we go, Devin Larratt once again. Outside of the straps, Denis Soplenkov on the right. Good start there from Denis Soplenkov, but we've got a little bit of a delay and I believe an elbow foul will be called, yes, an elbow foul on Devin Larratt. The slip happens this time. No, the victory. Let's have a look at the replay. You'll see Denis Soplenkov using that speed and hand control once again. The slip happens in a losing position and the victory is given to this Denis Soplenkov. All right, round five. Denis Soplenkov on your left now. Outside of straps, giving Devin Larratt time. This is what Devin needed. Dennis Soplenkov has already secured the victory, so he's giving Devin the time and space. Now watch Devin go to work. He's re-gripping. He puts the back pressure on, re-grips. He's trying to get through and deep over the rotation ability of Dennis Soplenkov. Dennis Soplenkov will come with a surge. Watch for the surge as Dennis Soplenkov feels the leverage starting to be taken away. He goes for the surge, can't quite get the pin, and we've got an elbow foul called. You'll see there in the replay that the pin doesn't quite happen, about one inch away from the pin. But now they are in the straps. It means that Soplenkov isn't going to allow Devin to get those regrips. And the strap keeps it secure. That side pressure and cup comes through. Look at the replay. It is simply too much. Dennis Soplenkov, his hand control, his cup, and side pressure combined. Too much for Devin Larratt to get the stop. Alrighty, going into round number six here. Devin Larratt being given, once again, the opportunity to work. Dennis Soplenkov on the right, outside of straps. He's taken on the centre, but now he's pausing. He's giving Devin Larratt every opportunity to work. Devin Larratt, driving hard. He's using side pressure. He's using tricep. He's supinated and cupping. He's going as hard as he can on side pressure. Devin Larratt, working as much as he can. Dennis Soplenkov still giving Devin Larratt the opportunity to pull however he chooses. Dennis Soplenkov... Looking calm, his hand control is strong, 
I don't know that Dennis Saplinkoff would necessarily pin from here, but there goes the wrist, and Dennis Saplinkoff obliging there, I think, very gentlemanly like giving Dennis, uh, giving Devin Larratt, sorry, the victory. Watch once more time. We know that Dennis Saplinkoff could have pinned through the hook if he went straight away, but he gave Devin Larratt the time. Devin Larratt, this time, instead of looking for a hook stop, he starts climbing, and because we're not in the straps, that wrist becomes vulnerable. Now, the question is, was this a genuine pin? Look, honestly, I don't think it is. The reason I don't think it is, watch the look on Dennis's face. There's a moment where he stands up and acknowledges and gives the hand to Devin Larratt. Now, had that one have played out, maybe Dennis Saplinkoff couldn't have pinned Devin Larratt. But we do know that the right man won on the day, and it could have been 6-0 had he have wanted it to. But, ladies and gentlemen, that's why he is the best in the world at the moment, Dennis Saplinkov. And that was The Breakdown.